Amen. And you come this morning to to acknowledge that Jesus is your Lord, and when you die, who's going to get you into heaven? Jesus is going to be the one to get you into heaven, yes. A lot of people go through life and then think God will get them into heaven, but Jesus is God, and we we He's the Savior. He's the one that died and paid for our sins, right? And so... By you professing that Jesus is the one that's going to get you in heaven, when you stand before God in heaven and He looks at you and says, Why should I let you into heaven? He's going to be looking for you to look at Jesus and say, It's because of Him. <laughs> that's that's the Savior that we have. As we come to baptize this morning, this is a picture of what you did when you gave your life to Jesus. You're going to be lowered underneath the water. As you go underneath the water, it's a picture of you left your old life. When you're raised up out of the water, it's a picture of the fact that you have a new life now. It's a life now that your sin doesn't count against you. Jesus' payment for your sin stands up for you. So hold my hand and be seated there, please. As we come this morning to, to be baptized, I want you to take and submerge yourself underneath the water. This will be a time that you come to show that you... Thank you. In obedience to the command of our Lord Jesus Christ and because of your public profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my brother, Lawrence Hayes, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. My hand will be stable. My hand. Pressure on my Catherine, we come this morning to remember what you did when you gave your life to Jesus. When you die and stand before God in heaven and He says, Catherine, why should I let you into heaven? Who will it be that gets you into heaven? It will be Jesus. Because Jesus is the one that died and paid for your sin. You know, a lot of people just say God. But we have to know who God is. Jesus, God in flesh, He came down and He paid for your sins on the cross, made you sinless person in front of God the Father because you accept Jesus' payment for your sin. That makes you sin. It's neat to know when we sin that God has already paid for those sins through Jesus, isn't it? Amen. So hold my hand here. Heavenly Father, I thank You for my sister in Christ today. I thank You that she has made that public commitment of her life to You. She comes this morning publicly, Lord, to demonstrate what it means to be a Christian and You being one that is raised from the the old sinless life to come to a new life in which she depends upon Jesus' sacrifice on the cross to pay for her sins. Bless her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You can stand. Did you survive? <laughs> now, tell them what you said. I'm trying to drown you, right? <laughs> Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. Next comes Daniel Jr. Daniel, you want to have a seat there? I'll try to not hold you under until the bubbles come up, okay? In obedience to the command of our Lord Jesus Christ and because of your public profession of faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my brother, Daniel Rubio, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hold my hand right there. Here you come up now. Amen. 
Praise God. Thank you. When you die and you go to heaven, Daniel, who will it be that will get you into heaven? It will be Jesus. God bless you. Thank you. And I didn't give the full name of Catherine Levitt a while ago. Excuse me for that. <laughs> Vidic, how are you doing today? Scared to come in here after what you've been witnessing? <laughs> I'm baptizing a little bit different today than I normally do because normally I have two arms, but today I gave one arm up for Lent. Doing without it. And I definitely need it. Ida, has there been a time in your life when you knew you were a sinner and you gave your life to Jesus? When did you do that? Last time you came to church here, a couple of weeks was it a couple of weeks ago or one week ago? I'm trying to remember too. But you made that commitment, didn't you? Very good. And uh, this morning, Mida, we come to to be baptized. And uh, who will it be that'll get you into heaven? It'll be Jesus. You hold my hand right here. In obedience to the command of our Lord Jesus Christ, and. Mida uh, Rubio, because of your public profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We're baptized with Him in the likeness of His death, and we're raised to walk in newness of life, likeness of His resurrection. God bless you. Thank you. Probably the only day, only day that I'll baptize anybody like this, and you managed to pick this day for your baptism, right? Normally I'd just take and put you all the way down there and touch the bottom of the tub with it. Maybe this is a better day to come to be baptized, right? This is Daniel Sr., Daniel Rubio Sr., and um, we've seen uh, your daughter and your, your son, uh, Junior, as he was baptized, and now it's your turn. Who will get you into heaven? It'll be Jesus. Heavenly Father, because of public profession of faith, Daniel's made in you and his trust in you. We baptize him this morning, Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in a way of demonstrating what he believes that you did for him, that you came, you lived, died, and then resurrected to life again, and you're alive today in heaven waiting on us. Bless him in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brother. Congratulations. Anybody else?